so it's 8 27 they've eaten breakfast um gotten dressed got their hair done and now it's just time to get started with work so okay so now we're going to go over some sight words just to keep her fresh because she has um devils coming up and I just want to keep them fresh on her mind because reading is something that she's struggling with at the moment so we are looking to improve that so we're just going to go over a few words and yeah oh, so yes that's correct this mm -hmm. what what I told you, TH makes. Try again. So try, sound it out again. Sound it out one more time. What? No. I said sound it out one more time. What? It? Yes. 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 <laughs> we'll come back. Okay, let me mix them up a little bit. Two. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. At. At. Yeah. Like. It. Get. Good job. Okay. So we will, let's do a couple of big words. Um, there's a few of the smaller words that you didn't know. So let's see if you know some of these big words. And guys, I thought that they came and you had to separate them. So I thought that you had to separate them all. I didn't know that they had big words in there. So I had to staple them back together. So um, let's try this. Okay, so today we have four things to do. Um, we went over a few sight words and we'll probably do some more at the end of the day as well. But um, she doesn't have any live lessons today. She, I actually have one. Oops one for learning coaches that I may join today. Um, but today she only has educational technology, um, language, art, social studies, and math. So, and she has one quick, two quick checks and one quiz. And language arts, it just looks like they're just going over information. So I need to get started on some work. So what I'm going to do is, and I also need to go approve the work for yesterday and log attendance. So I'm going to let her get started on language arts. And make sure you listen to the instructions. Do you have your headphones? Make sure you do every lesson. I'll be in to check in on you in about 15 minutes. And I'm going to go do the um, le um what is it the pen and approvals for the last lessons from yesterday and the attendance so got her squared away um I'm about to take my vitamins if anybody wants a review on goli ashawaganda let me know and i will be glad to do one for you um but yeah let me get my day like started because I haven't done anything with work, I haven't even logged in and whatnot. So let me at least just log in, let people know that I'm here. Like I said, you guys, um, sometimes like I am not to the T with the attendance. Um, sometimes I go like a few days without logging it, and I just catch it on the weekend and log it for the whole week. But that's just me.
Now let's practice listening to the e eh sound in words. It's a short e. The word bell. The letter B makes the b sound. Say b. The letter E makes the e eh sound. E. Eh. Yep. The letters L. L make the sound. Listen to So the when sound. you see double L, hold on. So when you see double L, it, you know what sound does double L make again? Oh. Mm. So when you see double L make the it's not la la is uh, you mm. put them together. Blend it with her. Bell. Say it with me as I blend these sounds together. Bell. Bell. Listen as I blend these sounds together. Jet. Say it with me as I blend these sounds together. Jet. Good job. These are Kayla's spelling words. So she, right now she's gonna go write these down and then we'll practice spelling them later on this week. Okay, now it says that she needs to get this workbook right here. Looks like this. And we are going to do pages 13 through 15. She's gonna read 13 through 14 and do the questions. So looks like this. And then this, and then we're gonna do that. Okay. So it says read the passage, use the visualized strategy to picture in your mind what is happening in the story. What's this word? Yeah. Uh-huh. Before you say what it is, what does double O make? Mm. Okay. Sound the word out. Mm. Mm. Correct. Festival. The food festival. Can you sound that word out? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. What's this word? The S? No, the A. Right after van. Uh, mm. Duh. Good job. Mm -hmm. his Good job. So Van and his friends. No, sound the word out. You're guessing. Yeah. Uh, mm, yeah. Family. Van and his family. This is one of your spelling words. Mm. No. Oh. What? This one? Yes. This one? this one right here after family. What? No, I said after family right here. Mm. What? Eh. Mm. Went. Good. Van and his family went. The. You missed the word. To. Uh huh. The. Uh, 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 local. And what's this word? Festival. That's yeah. And what's this word? Mm? Right. Yeah. Fest. No, this is festival. What's this one? It's the same word as this one. Um. Sound the word out. Mm. Food? Yes. Van and his family went to the local food festival. All right. 
So I'm going to continue reading down with, with this with her and then we'll be back when we get answered the question. Who were the characters in the story? A brother named Ben. Uh-huh, and? A sister named... They didn't name the sister. The mom. Uh-huh. Dad. Good. Where did the story take place? A food festival. Good job. Okay, and what event took place at the beginning of the story? So, they went to, it says they went to the local food festival. Van opened, Van's eyes opened wide. He was amazed at how this quiet street had changed. On each side, food booths were set up showing colorful flags. He knew a few. There was Mexico and there was China. Van followed his mom, dad, and sister down the street. So, what took place at the beginning of the story was... They first went to a food court, a, a, a food festival. Yeah. And they saw different types of foods from different places, different countries. They, got, they shared a salad. Yep, they did. And then they had the beef noodle soup. Tamales. It's a Mexican dish. Okay. Um, so she read, I say, maybe about 12 of the words. She had quite a few errors because these are some words that she doesn't know. But she got a good bit of them right as well though after she sounded them out for some reason you work more than five hours so you put that in if you work um maybe four hours for one day or you know just don't put in five hours a day but as a learning and it's a great way for you to um, ask questions and again attend the core lessons first and then you can go on to the PE and art. Okay, all right now we're starting on educational technology We've already read this, and this is her keywords are communicate, computer virus, email, and virus. So I'm going to let her work on this. Okay, so it says, assess your student's knowledge of email by asking the following questions. Ask your student what, what he or she already knows about the email. Ask your student what he or she knows about computer viruses. Ask your student what he would like to know about using email. So what do you know about email? You can send people texts if you want to. You can send your friends texts too. It's emails, not texts. But they work like texts. Um, what do you know about viruses? Viruses, that means if, if somebody coughs on you, you'll get the virus back to you. Well, that's a virus for your people. I mean, computer viruses. Computer viruses, small computer. It's like art. You don't know how to turn it back on accidentally. Uh, no. Computer virus is like if your computer gets sick and it stops working right. So a computer virus, it kind of messes up your computer. It doesn't make it work like it normally would. Does it even have, does it have germs in it? <laughs> Not the computer, does it have germs? <laughs> okay, so now it's asking us to click on this booklet and read it together. Alright. So I Betty learn about I Betty learns about a new kind of virus. Alex, can you stop, please? Okay. When I have a virus, I feel a virus can make a computer feel sick. Remember I told you that? To my friend. Look at this attachment. A com computer virus can hide in an email, so you have to be careful about your emails. Can you be careful what you're pressing? Yes. Be a hero and prevent virus attacks. Okay, so now we're starting on math. It is it's currently 11.32. And we're on math. She has one more thing to do after this in the social studies. Using math strategies makes math easy. When I subtract, I like to think about 10. Why? It helps me subtract quickly and correctly. I am counting my erasers. Will you help me see how many I have?
Okay, so it says that there are two ways to use 10 to help you subtract. So, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You need 13, and this is what? 11? 12. 13. Okay, so we're just going to do it along with it. There are two ways to use 10 to help you subtract. One way is to start with seven and add three to get to 10. Okay. Next. So it says to start with seven. So this is five, make seven. Mm -hmm. So how many do you need to take away to make seven? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Three. All right. So I want you to use another color. Um, Ooh, pink. Yeah, you can use pink. And it says, so to get, so what do you need to make 10? I know we just did, we just did it back with us. Okay, so you have seven. So how many more do you need to make 10? Wait, hold on. So it's seven, eight. Nine, 10. So how many is this? Three. So you need three more to make 10, right? Okay. Add three more to make 13. So to get 13, how many do you need? So this is 10. So how many more do you need? 11, 11 12, 13. So how many is that? Three just like this one. Okay, so now you have 13, right? Seven plus six equals 13. So. All right, so seven plus six, so this is seven. How many blues do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how many pinks do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven plus six equals, count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Seven plus six equals? 13. Okay. So 13 minus seven equals six. All right, so 13 minus seven. So you have 13. Now take seven away. This one? Mm-hmm. No, and then what else? How, how many, count seven. Okay. Count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're taking seven away from 13. And now how many do you have? Six. Good. six to seven and make 13. Another way is to start with 13 and subtract three to get to 10. Since three plus four equals seven, subtract four more. So 13 minus seven equals six. I subtracted seven and have six left. All right, that was good. Uh oh, a pixie. Do the checkpoint. Did What's you wrong with you? <laughs> OMG. Okay. Pixie, Ooh. go. All right, guys. So that pretty much wraps up the day. I hope um that you enjoyed this second grade specific vlog. Um. I'm not gonna lie, I probably won't be able to do fifth grade tomorrow. Um, well, I probably won't be able to because it's Wednesday. Um, Wednesday, August 18th. So I probably will not be able to record fifth grade tomorrow. It'll probably be next week because I have to edit this and it's a lot of clips. So just bear with me, but I will try to definitely record it for record it next week and have it out by next Friday. So I hope that's okay. Um, make sure you guys give this vlog a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know how your guys, um, you know, week has been. And how's the first day of school? I want to hear all about it. So yeah, if you're new here, I hope by the time that you reach this part right here that you would have already hit that subscribe button and if you haven't it's okay because it's if it's still red you can still turn it gray you still got time so go ahead and hit that red button subscribe turn it gray make sure you guys turn on the bell notifications so that you can be notified when i post a video or go live because i still plan on doing that and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye